Hi everybody and welcome to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. So before we get into some NFL action for November the 7th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which will help you make all your picks. So let's get down and look at some of these games for the weekend. There's some excellent ones scheduled. Buffalo and Jacksonville. The first one we want to look at is Cleveland and Cincinnati. In this classic AFC North battle, the 5-3 and three Bengals host the 4-4 four and four Browns. You see the Bengals are a 2.5 point favorite with an over-under of 47.5. The odds are Bengals 1.69 and Cleveland 2.136. You see, the Browns are averaged down at the moment. They are coming off of a loss to the Steelers, and they have lost three out of their last four games. The Bengals are also coming off of a loss, a surprising loss, 34-31 against the Jets, and they are 2-3 and three over their last three and 4-2 and two over their last six. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Browns are at plus 19, and the Bengals are at plus 26. If you take a look at the totals predictor, considering the over and under, you can see here that the Browns are trending in games slightly over the line. Cincinnati under the line for the last, uh, well, for over the last month, month and a half now. Uh, so let's take a look now at the score prediction. The score prediction is Bengals 24, Browns 21. If that holds, we would be going under the line by two and a half points. The confidence in the prediction is at 67.3%. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable have the two teams been? You see that Cincinnati has not been very consistent according to their favorite underdog status. So take that into consideration. While Cleveland has been relatively stable, moderately stable, I should say, at plus two. Let's take a look at the line. If there's been any change in the money line, you can see that it started out at open uh, the Cincinnati money line at 1.73. And you can see there has been some movement up and down, and it's currently now at 1.69. The way I'm looking at this game is I do believe that the Browns will win. I just kind of like them. I like them on the road. I like them to, to come away with an upset victory, and I would avoid the over and under bet, though. Denver at Dallas. Next one we want to look at is not Houston, Miami. Minnesota and Baltimore. The Vikings are coming off a home loss to Dallas, and the Ravens look to rebound from a blowout loss to the Bengals. The Ravens, you see, are ice cold, or excuse me, burning hot down. They are won five out of their last six. The loss to the Bengals, probably just a blip on the radar, but we'll talk about that more as we go along here. And the Vikings are averaged down there, coming off that loss, like I said, and they are three and three over their last six. The Ravens are a 5.5 point home favorite with odds of 1.41 to 2.868 with an over and under of 49.5. The score prediction has the Ravens winning by 10 points, 39 to 29, which would put this game way over the line and confidence of prediction is at 69.2%. If you take a look at the totals predictor, you can see here that Vikings are trending in games over the line, Ravens are trending under the line. Usually when that happens, I like to avoid betting the over and under. Um, the power rankings indicator shows the Ravens have a plus 30 to plus 17 edge. How stable have the two teams been? If you look at the stability factor, you can see that neither team has been extremely stable. Well, moderate at best at zero and at plus one. So they're not real consistent at performing according to the favorite underdog status. If you look at the... The money line, we can see if there's any kind of movement in the line. You can see here it opened at 1.41 for the Ravens. You can see how it changed and moved up to, well, moved to 1.391, and now it's back down to 1.41. So what I'm looking at here in this one here, I do really think that the Ravens will win. They're going to rebound big from that blowout loss. They will win and cover, and I like a high-scoring game going over the line. Okay, so the next game we want to look at as we continue to go down through here, we have New England at Carolina, not that one. 
the Raiders and the Giants, the Chargers and the Eagles. This is one that I want to look at here. The Chargers enter with a two-game losing streak, and they're averaged down at the moment. You see they're coming off a loss to New England, 27-24. to They are averaged down at the moment. The Eagles are ice cold up, coming off a 44-6 to win over the Lions. You see that the, the Chargers are 1.5 point road favorite with odds of 1.75 to 2.05 and the over under is set at 49.5. If you look at the score prediction, it's showing the Chargers with a 30 to 12 blowout over the Eagles in this one with a 69% confidence. I'm not going to go with that at all as you'll see later with my prediction. Uh, but right now, let's take a look at the power ranking indicator. You see that the Chargers are at plus 22 at the moment. The Eagles are at plus 6. But they seem to be playing much better after that win. I know it was against the winless Lions, but they showed a lot more uh, efficiency on the ground. And I think that will carry over into this week. Um, the totals predictor, you see that the Chargers are trending in games under the line. While the Eagles are trending in games slightly over the line after last week. Again, though, I would probably avoid the over-under bet since it's on opposite sides of the line. How stable have the two teams been? You see here that the Eagles are consistently more stable at plus 4 to 0 for the Chargers. Let's take a look now at the money line. Let's see if there's been a lot of movement in the line. You can see it started here at the Chargers at 1.59, and now the line is down to 1.752. So you can see it's going a little bit more in favor of the Eagles as time has gone by. And that's the thing I'm considering here as we're heading into the game. I don't see that this is going to be a route at all, 30-12. to 12. That's not the case, I don't think, at all. In fact, I'm going to go in a bit of an upset. I think the Eagles will cover this one, which means they are likely, very likely, to actually win the game outright. So that's what's going to be my pick here, but I'm going to avoid the over-under. Arizona and San Francisco. Should be a pretty good game, but we're going to take a look at this next one instead. The Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs. The Packers enter play on a seven-game winning streak. They are burning hot at the moment. The Chiefs are coming off of a 20-17 win over the Giants, but they are only 3-3 three three over their last six. You see that the odds are dead even at 1.9, but Kansas City is a slight 1.5 favorite with an over-under of 54.5. Taking a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the Chiefs are on the downward spiral here at plus 12 because of their inconsistent play over the last few weeks, while the Packers here are up to plus 30 because of their 7-game winning streak. If you look at the total prediction, you can see that the Packers under the line, where they were over the line, you know, consistently over the line this whole season, but under the line here as of today, while the Chiefs have been consistently over the line the whole time. Let's take a look at the score prediction to have a better idea of what we should do with the with the over-under. You see that the Packers are given a 68% uh, confidence in, in winning this game at 28-20, to 20, an 8-point win. And that 48 points would actually go under the line. Let's look at the volatility oscillators to see how stable the two teams have been. Kansas City not at all at even, which is at zero, which is not a surprise because they have been favored in most of these games, and they're you know they're three and three over the last six, so then they've not been consistently performing according to that favorite underdog status. While the Packers are relatively stable at plus two. See if there's been any kind of change in the money line. You can see it opened at 1.671, and is now at 1.9. So what do we think is going to happen in this one? Well, I am liking the Packers to win the game. I just think they are hot right now. The, 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 the Chiefs are just not playing good football right now. Even though they're at home, they've been out of sorts. I do like the Packers. They're on a roll. I think they will win this game. The Titans and the Rams. Here is a very good matchup here. The Titans are burning hot at the moment, as are the Rams. Now, here's the, the key to this game here. The Titans are on a four-game winning streak, yes. The Rams are on a four-game winning streak, yes. You think the line would be pretty close, right? No. 
The reason being is Derrick Henry is out for the Titans. That is a huge loss. The NFL's leading rusher. He is the heart and soul of the best player on that team. So the Rams are a big 7.5 point favorite now. Look at the odds. 1.26 to 3.76. And the over-under is at 53.5. The confidence in prediction with the Rams winning 28 to 26 at 49%. I think that is a good... I think that confidence should be a lot higher. I don't think there's any real good chance that the Titans actually come away with the win in this one. Um, let's take a look at the power ranking indicator, though, real quick. The Rams at plus 28. The Titans at plus 25. That's about to change after this week's game. The volatility oscillator shows the Titans at minus 4. Not consistently playing at all, according to the favorite underdog stats, whereas the Rams are very consistent. I don't see there's any way that the Titans stay close. I like the Rams to win big, but I'm going to go with the under because Tennessee just won't score enough points. So there you have it. Those are the games for November the 7th in the NFL. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.